Thank you for joining with us again today. Our text today is going to be from Psalms 37. But before we do that, I would like to pray. Father, we thank you today for all that you do for us. We thank you for your mercy and your grace, which we did not deserve. But you loved us enough to send your only son to die for us, that we should have eternal life. And Father, we just thank you for your Holy Spirit that you send to walk with us and be in us. We thank you for your signs and wonders and miracles that he does through us and each one of us. We thank you for the healings that take place. We thank you for the deliverance that takes place. Most of all, we thank you for your salvation today, Father. And Lord, we just want to give you glory and honor today in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, Psalms 37. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like grass and withered as the green herb. Sometimes we envy those that we think are having a little bit more than we do, maybe that do not follow the Lord such as we do. Don't be envious or jealous of what they have, for it's better to have a little and have eternal life than it is to have a world full of riches that you can't take with you when you leave this life. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. What is it today that you would ask to him that he could do for you? He said, ask, and you shall receive it. Today, he wants to hear you. He wants to hear your voice. Whether you need salvation or there's a need in your life for something, ask him. He wants to hear from you. But delight yourself in doing so. Let him know that you are very thankful for what he does for you in this life. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Sometimes we have to wait in this life. Some things we don't get as soon as we want it. Sometimes we may never get it. But it's when God sees we need it in our lives that we usually end up with it. And without him, we could not have it anyway. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Watch, wait, listen for the Lord, and watch for his return. Take your eyes off of the world and put them on Jesus. Don't get drawn in to all these things that's happening around the world. Yes, we need to be concerned, but we do not need to be consumed with it. Cease from anger. Forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. God is on your side. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Skipping down to verse 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and snatches his upon him with his teeth. But look what the Lord says here. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he saith that his day is coming. Don't be dismayed for what your enemy might try to do for you. God says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when you rely upon him and you call upon the name of Jesus, the devil is going to flee. 
and all of his helpers, the workers of darkness. They will not stand in the light. The wicked have gone out of the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Now this is what the word says about that, what will be their reward. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many women. Remember, God is always on your side. Verse 23 says this, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. If you need something and you delight in the Lord and you watch, the Lord will take care of you and look after you and give you the desires of your heart. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. If you do something that is not right, if you sin, there's forgiveness for that. That's why Jesus went to the cross, for you to ask God to forgive you of your sins. That is our hope today in Jesus, that we have everlasting life with him and the Father. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.